Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Mini Durham, and we're taking a look at Circular iDrive 9 today. So this is my first time really playing with this, so that's kind of interesting. Um, let's take a look at what's going on here. So, we've got an odometer, we've got uh, range, we've got the screen turning off. So I'm just going to try and get that back on here. Okay, so right in the center... BMW, welcome BMW Mini Connected. Oh, so our name is BMW, that's what's going on here. So let's take a look at what's actually happening. So if I click on this, in the center we've got Connect Telephone, Navigation, Media, so it looks like Apple CarPlay was connected. We got Spike, which is our name of our personal assistant. So our personal assistant takes on a persona, which is this dog named Spike. We've got the weather, we've got vehicle status, and what's this? It looks like some type of an assist view or something like that. Now, if I press off, what do we have here? Drive train and chassis. So mini sound, the drive sound is, so this is like iconic sounds. Automatic engine start stop off. That's in the in that menu there. Handling, active, uh, activate drive off support once. So if you're stuck in snow or mud and the traction system is not allowing you to spin the wheels to get out and people are pushing the car, You'll notice there's no traction off button here, so that's what you would have to do for one instance. Parking brake, so it looks like the electronic parking brake is here, and there's no actual park. So it looks like we have the option for parking brake releases automatically, parking brake applies automatically. Uh, so parking brake will, and we have auto hold. So auto hold is engaged through the system here, that's interesting. And we've got, whoop, got VIN number down here. Now let's continue. So what else do we have here? So we did driver assist. Okay, let's take a look at driver assistance. So that looks like safety and warnings, forward collision mitigation, lane departure warning. So we had both of those before. We now also gain active blind spot detection. So my guess will be at speeds above 20 kilometers an hour and steering intervention above 60. So steering intervention puts you back into your lane. Warning when turning means vibration. So expanded reduce off. So we have blind spot detection now, which we didn't have before. Side collision warning at speeds above 30. Yep, just like BMW. And exit warning, so uh, detects if there's a cyclist or car coming so you don't open the door on somebody. And fatigue alert. So it looks like two hour break, 20 minute break, or never. Yep, much like BMW. Speed warning if you'd like the car to remind you when you've reached a certain speed car tells you about the speed limit so there's a warning when you speed which is visual and an acoustic warning if you'd want a secondary warning aside from the visual one and reset everything back to how it was so that is pretty cool driving so in terms of driving we know uh speed limit assistant adjust many show current limit okay so this looks like uh for when you're doing cruise control it'll automatically adjust and in this case, it'll just show what the limit is. You can add a sound. So this is much like an iDrive 8.5. Add a sound when the speed limit changes. And speed limit ex exceeded. So that's what we saw in the other menu. If you're doing cruise control, you can adjust the speed at which it corners. So I saw that also in iDrive 8.5. Aha, it has lane guiding with navigation with impulse and steering wheel. Yep. So if you have a navigation destination set in the mini nav, uh, you can actually get it to start changing lanes for you while it's in cruise control if you're using both at the same time. So that's pretty cool. And <clears throat> where were we? So I'm just going to go back to vehicle apps. So we were on driving settings. So keep in mind, there's also a driving settings button here, which was not always here. So that's interesting. And we've got distance control. So you can predetermine the following distance. So I'm going to imagine this has assisted driving plus, which means the cruise control can mitigate the distance to the car in front of you, the speed it can steer from you for you. And automatic lane change, I'm going to guess, means signal and change lanes for you. Lane change is supported. Yeah, so if you signal while you're in cruise control and nobody's beside you, it'll change lanes for you automatically. 
So we're getting all the tech that we have in the high-end BMWs. Ah, assisted driving plus. So that means you can take your hands off the steering wheel completely in cruise control in certain situations. Now, I've, I've seen some of these only work in stop and go, and I've seen some of these work at speeds below 130. I'm not sure which one this has just yet. So I'm going to imagine the assisted, ah, the assisted view shows up when you're in assisted driving. So you can see the lane you're in, where you are in your lane, the car in front of you, and potentially all the cars around you if it's like the BMW system. Now here, notification standard or expanded, so we can have more words or less words. That is cool. Parking. So let's take a look at this camera or what options are in this menu. So uh, sound when parking spot is available, uh, show assistance information. So this has the full... Uh, automatic parking so this should likely have uh, back park parallel park front park come out of a parking spot now park distance control with emergency braking in the rear so by default these are normally not on so in the rear and in the sides so if you're backing up and there's something that the car thinks that you don't see you may slam on the brakes to avoid you from colliding park distance control beeping sounds this is the volume for it that's what they sound like in this generation of mini so that's kind of cool we also have drive off monitoring, so we saw that in another menu. Front and rear cross traffic with braking intervention in the rear. So, if you're going forwards or backwards and the perpendicular car shows up, it'll give you a visual warning followed by an audible warning. If neither of these warnings make you foot, put your foot on the brake, uh, it may intervene by slamming the brakes. GPS based 360 cam, that is sweet. Parking guidelines and obstacle markings in the backup camera, so that is just like BMW. Now, feedback via steering wheel, so vibration intensity, there's probably medium, high, low, yep, that's just like BMW. Light elements on the steering wheel, so there's some lights here for cruise control. So if you're doing assisted driving, not assisted driving plus, and your hands are not on the steering wheel and you're not looking here, there's an infrared sensor looking at your face, uh, light will turn yellow, light will turn red, and steering wheel impulse, the steering will give a little vibration if it's changing lanes uh, uh, while you're navigating and using cruise control uh, to get to your navigation destination that you've inputted. Okay, you know what? Going through this with you guys, I'm actually feeling much more comfortable because this is definitely iDrive 9. So Mini ID, that's where you would connect now through the app. You're scanning a QR code, which was previously not available because we we're operating, uh, we we're on Mini Operating System 5 before. There's that personal assistant. We also have Mini Connected Store, so you can renew some of the subscriptions you may have. Come on, car. Don't turn off on me. Ah, okay. We saw assisted view, climate control. So climate control also exists right here. So just like on BMW, driver temp, passenger temp are on both sides. And the little picture here allows you to turn on a heated steering wheel or heated seat. This one only has a heated seat, of course. And up top, there's a power button for climate control. So once we turn on the climate control system, so we can decide fan up or fan down, AC, max AC sync. So sync will sync both temperatures to the driver temp so watch this boom back to 20 and we have max ac <coughs> air recirculation so there's off on automatic probably yep and if you don't want auto you can click on this and then you can manually direct where the air is going how much fan you have there's defrost what is this middle bottom oh okay you pick on those so you pick on these three to make the british union jack that's kind of cool so that is pretty neat. Now, this is the navigate. Oh, this is Apple CarPlay. No, this is media. Interesting that it's the CarPlay logo. So if we go to FM, there's all your stations, AM, Sirius XM. Nice. We get nice graphics here for all the different channels. That's pretty cool. Ah, so the image changes to what you were listening to last. That's why I was showing us Apple CarPlay. This is the navigation that comes with the vehicle. So from here, you can enter a destination, look up uh, points of interest, previous destinations. And in terms of the map view, we've got perspective, uh, northeast, southwest, map book view, and uh, direction of travel view. So that is pretty cool. 3D buildings, if you wish, and you're in auto, uh, metropolitan areas. You can decide if you want to avoid highways, toll routes, ferries, HOV2, HOV3, HOT, what's what's hot? I don't know what that is. Ah, we even have augmented view uh, cruise control. So that means there'll be a, a video image on the screen with an overlay with arrows telling you where you need to go. So that's pretty cute. That's just like...
BMW phone, so it's going to be recent calls. Uh, who's iPhone Alain? That's not me. And Equip Octane's iPhone. Yeah, neither of these phones are mine. Uh, what I just wanted to find out, though, does this have Android Auto now? I imagine it would. I will get back to you with that information. And this is what Android Auto looks like for the first time in a Mini, being displayed on the circular iDrive 9 display. So yes, Android users, you can use Android Auto. <laughs> oh yeah, contacts, calls, all that, it's at the bottom. And let's just go back to apps again. So climate control, I'm just actually gonna, whoops, wrong button. I'm gonna turn this off. It's kind of windy in here now. Okay, so we've also got data privacy. So yeah, you can select all the individual things just like you could in the other iDrive 9. Displays, so what do you got for displays? So cockpit brightness at night, that's uh, this. Head up display, so height, rotation, brightness. Can we see anything? Oh yeah, look. There's something being displayed in the head-up display right there, so that's pretty cool. And, whoops, didn't mean, ah, come on, Mini! <laughs> Sorry, everyone's been playing with this car all day. Now that it's my turn, the battery is running low, so it keeps on shutting off. So we can adjust, assisted driving info will appear in front of other content, and speed limit stuff will show up there. Interaction unit. Okay, so you can get converted speed right in the head-up display. That's awesome So if you travel to the US you can get miles per hour and kilometers doors and windows So unlock unlocks all the doors unlock when approach lock when walk away. So that's finally in mini It wasn't here before Flash when locking flash when unlocking acoustic sound when lock unlock doors at the end of trip. So it means if you uh, uh, Turn off the ignition, doors will unlock. When you put the car into park down here, doors will unlock. Lock after a short time means you pressed unlock. Nobody opens the door for a minute, the car will relock itself. And turn off after opening door means you turn off the ignition, the engine shuts off, the radio is still on, the driver opens the door, the radio then shuts off. Anti-theft alarm, so deactivate one. So if somebody's being left in the car or a pet, uh, it won't set off the interior alarm. Drive recorder, so we finally have that. So there's four cameras constantly recording on the vehicle, front, back, and two sides. If you crash the car, that's one of the triggers that'll have this all record. So there's 30 seconds before, 30 seconds after. You can look at your recordings here. And the manual trigger, I'm going to imagine, is press and hold this button for three seconds. All right, let's continue. Driving settings, we went through that. What is experiences? So we have core. What does this mean? Green, vivid, timeless. What? Okay. So there's actually an experiences button here. So we've got vivid green. What's green? Okay. So look, power, fuel. So that's like a green mode from before. Core, I guess, is the new mid. Go kart. Yes. It said woohoo. Nice. So we've got attack. We've got gas. We've got speedo and oil temp at the bottom. That is cool. So go kart is the top. Core, green, vivid. What's timeless? Ooh. That's kind of cool. Look at that. And then balance. Oh, the sunshade is closing now. That's interesting. And then trail. What's trail? What? I'm gonna have to play with this more to figure out what the difference is other than just the design, unless that's all that it is. Interesting. All right, exterior lighting. So I'm going to imagine off, auto, or low beams. Automatic high beams only available in automatic driving situation, blah, blah, blah. Automatic high beams. So the car has that. Oh, and we have live vehicle here. Is it just like BMW live vehicle? It is just like BMW live vehicle. So that's pretty neat. And whoops. I didn't finish that one. Parking lights. Okay, so we can configure that. Settings. Ah, Mini, come on let me have time 
Okay, and interior lighting. So let's see what's going on with that. So, number one, lights on when the door open. Yes, so we can turn on all the lights from within here, which is just like the new BMW stuff. Ambient lighting. So we got it on. We can select, wow, so there's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 different colors. So we've got vivid pink, cranberry red, velvet purple, mint green, core blue, juicy yellow, balance blue, dove blue, spring blue, fresh green, trail green, light green, go-kart red, vivid orange, sunset orange, crystal white, grapefruit red, timeless beige, and is there... Ah, it's a random select. That's what that is. So that is kind of cool. Oh, wait. Look at this. Let me just go back to ambient light color. Surprise me. So that's like a random. So wait, is auto then the disco mode from before? We have light projection, background light, reduced for night driving, and light effects. So phone calls, unlock, lock, that kind of stuff. So that is much like BMW. Keys. So I'm sure we're going to have digital key in here. So that's pretty awesome. We're connecting phones, owner's manuals, parking, seat comfort. So I'm just going to hit parking for a second. So we have 360 cam. You can see people walking around. We can see how big all the doors can open. You can change the side views here if you wish right uh, showing the sensor view all the way around backup camera has the red axe which is the tightest angle the car can cut full lock left to right assistance view for automatic parking 180 degree view of the front uh, or the rear there's activation points here as well so that means you can do a pathway there's your full 3d view here so that actually looks really good it's very crisp in terms of the image car wash view to help you get into the car wash so that is very much like the BMW one. Seat comfort, I'm just gonna imagine that we've got memory. Yep, automatically use previous seat. Massage, we got massage in here? Yes. Yes, that's sweet. Speedometer, so I guess that just shows that. Okay, that's kind of cool. System settings, so I'm sure you can set date and time to the correct time zone, set the units. Remote software upgrades will happen now uh, over the air. Rear occupant alert to not forget rear passengers. Deep sleep mode so you can park it with less draw from the battery with without the, without the anti-theft alarm on. Rear occupant alert, deep sleep mode, yes. Wireless charging tray so there's a reminder not to forget your phone and it's on. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this looks very much like what we've seen already. Trip data. So from here, we can see that information. Okay, good. Vehicle status. So here's where you're going to see tire pressure, engine oil, control messages, upcoming services. So the service intervals are still one year, 15,000 kilometers. Service history records right in here. This is definitely iDrive 9. So I think that will conclude for now what I can show you or what I know about this so far. But thank you so much for learning about iDrive, Circular iDrive 9 with me in the new Mini. Uh, we're going to do some more videos on these new Minis as they arrive. Let me know in the comments below what you think. But either way, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Interior camera is on. Yes, it is.